Marooned is a very simple concept. It's being dropped off in the middle of all sorts of remote places uh, without anything to help me survive at all. Yeah. Um, there's no script, there's no plan. It's literally whatever happens, happens. So if I can't light a fire, I'm shivering cold. If I can't find food, I'm hungry. Um, I take my own camera, there's no crew, and it's literally real adventure as it happens. We've been yeah up in the mountains in Borneo, um, up in the very different mountains in Venezuela, um, in the jungles of Borneo, in the middle of the desert in Botswana, um, all sorts of different environments just to test myself in, in those different environments. And it's I mean, some of the environments I've never been to before, and it's literally having to adapt all of these skills and go, oh, crikey, what's, how is it going to be this week? How am I going to find food? Um, it's, uh, it's such a challenge each time, even though, I mean, in, in my perspective, these aren't massively long trips, the 10 days in each environment. But when you've got nothing, literally no knife, no food, no water at all, nothing to help you survive, it's quite a challenge each time, yeah. And which environments hadn't you been to before? Have you hadn't I. I've got very limited desert experience. So um, being out in Botswana, it was the Okavango Delta, there's elephants around, there's leopards, there's all sorts of uh, dangers. Like, I'm at home in the jungle, but like the Amazon jungle, you're not at the top of the food, well, you, you're near the top of the food chain, actually, that's what I meant to say, but um, suddenly, I mean, I had a hippo come and, and uh, like, investigate my fire, and I was just like, yeah, everyone's told me that hippos, you should be a bit careful of them, but, um, yeah, there were these huge animals around, and that was definitely new to me, yeah, not, okay, you can deal with small dangers like snakes, they seem as a little bit containable, but when you've got elephants and hippos and things, it's, uh, different kind of thing. You know, the, the big question that a lot of people ask, you, you know, you made um, the, the two series beforehand, Walking yeah. the Amazon, which was an incredible, um, incredible trek, and then right. Naked and Maroon, yeah. which was, again, um, incredible from a different perspective, but yeah. why? <laughs> Age old question. Um, I th I've always loved this sort of adventure, I mean, from being a kid, grew up in the countryside, building dams, climbing trees, that sort of stuff, and, and I was in the military, and when I came out of the military, I think I kidded myself that I wanted to become a stockbroker for a little while, and I, I was doing like networking meetings with very serious men and suits. And it's, it's just not me. I really love tangible, physical things, and I like challenges as well. I like being put in situations where you're having to think outside the box and use different bits of your wits and experience to overcome them. And I think in those situations, when you are put under a bit of pressure, the the bits of life where you start growing really, aren't they? They're the bits where you become a bit wiser and your whole life experiences is getting bigger and bigger.